Alright guys, this is um the video that I'm gonna do on my dad's truck. Um so this thing has a two forty um straight six with three on the tree. Um yeah. Here's shifter. So, um, yeah, it doesn't have power steering, it doesn't have power brakes, so, yeah, and it has drum all around, and I guess I'll just open up the hood, we've done a little work on the motor. Okay, so it runs pretty good. Just got some engine paint from, you know, Tractor Supply. Painted it up. Um, brand new manifold. Yeah. It cracked. So, brand new exhaust manifold. We got new engine mount there. Um, there too. That's about it. And it's got all new spark plugs, new cap condenser. Um, points, junk like that. So, um, yeah. Guess that's about it. It, um, needs a new shifting fork, apparently, or something like that, because they get worn out. So, yeah. Pretty small engine, though. 240 straight six. Master cylinder, you know. No power steering or anything. There's the steering box thing. Yeah. Steering's pretty tight still. Pretty good truck. I guess. Hood's all painted and everything. Engine's painted. Front end is painted. This door is painted, so is the inside of the door. Kind of full of junk because we don't use it that much. Because I mean, it's a three speed manual, so it maxes out about 70. And just since the shifting fork is worn out, it's kind of hard to drive around town, you know. Plus, we were like, I had all the equipment in the back here. We were using the brakes hard one time and it like lost all brakes, so that wasn't very cool. Yeah. The original radio still works. See the lights go on. Yeah. The horn doesn't work though. Or anything like that. Yeah. It needs some help, but good project truck. Um, dad's got some rust holes, you know. We'll weld those up. My dad's a pretty good fabricator. Oh yeah, something else, this tailgate. It's a little, not so good shape. This is how we, this is our latch right here. Got one on the other side too. Yeah, but um, my dad was driving it home when he bought it for like 950 bucks so yeah a little bit of slightly rip off but it's uh I mean it's 1968 Ford F100 pretty old but yeah so he was driving it home and this side's bearing went out so you know dip fluid all over the driveway but as you can see now drive shafts all painted Everything's all painted. New shocks, new gas shocks. Yep. All new fluids and everything. Pretty nice. This was the first thing we had to do. You had to get the bearings pressed in. Painted everything all up in here. Let's make it look nice. There's a big hole. Let's see if you can see it. Let's get under here a little bit. Big hole in the exhaust. 
it's a little bit loud, you know, normal. Buy those for 30 bucks. I don't know, we don't have it yet, but floor pan is rusted out on the driver's side. Cab mount. Cab support, whatever you want to call it. On this side, my dad put a new floor pan in. Well, not really, like that trailer uh, from the other video that I just did. The simplicity's done or whatever. Whatever I called it. But, um, yeah. You can see the red new floor pan in there. It's from that trailer. Probably just cut this out and weld it back in. Here's an aftermarket replacement floor pan that someone put in. Actually, it's a cab support. This is a cab mount. You can see. Yeah. Those need to be replaced. Yeah. Steering's pretty tight though. When you drive it, driving it, you don't have to. It's not like you should have to shake the steering wheel back and forth like you have to do on some trucks because this plate right here is worn out. But this one's still pretty tight. Yeah. So, um, that's about it for the overview. It has pretty new tires, like, lots of tread. The guy didn't drive it much, though, and they're pretty old, so might need replacing soon, but new cat right here. A little bit of rust in the tank. That's okay, though, because we put two fuel filters in the front there. So, yeah, should be pretty good. This thing runs really nice. Maybe sometime I'll do a we'll do a cold start on it. But yeah, not today. Battery might be charged. I haven't started in like three months. Let's see if I can get this huge hood down. I'm gonna have to set the down. Alright, there we go. Thanks for watching guys. Bye.